What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Around the World with a Billion Dollars. Today, we're traveling to England. We're going to the eighth tier. Uh, we chose Lancaster City uh, that we're going to be playing with today. They were founded in 1905, semi professional team, local reputation, okay finances. As far as their general goes, not much to see. Um, 54 season tickets, average 147, owner loves the club. Currently, estimated value of 240 uh, facilities there in Lancaster. Um, club owned by Lancaster. Stadium is in good condition. Um, basic, poor and basic youth training facilities, corporate facilities, and stuff like that. As far as their overview go, no major... Uh, Competitions won. They did get promoted a couple of times, uh, once or twice, um, but um, they were never placed first, so we never got their trophy. As far as this goes, I was on, found in 1905, and you guys can always read this. Um, competitions, we just saw that, went through that, and then landmarks, there's nothing currently in landmarks. So we're going to look at the club details. Reputation is 1350, club attendance 219, minimum uh, is 139, and maximum is almost always the same in these. Projects. Stadium name, Giant Tax, capacity 3,500, seated 513. They can expand it to 4,000. Current stadium condition is 5. So the lower it is, the, the better it is. Training facilities, you guys can see uh, 1331 as of right now. If you look at finances, which is not bad uh, at all for an 8 tier club, we usually see you know a couple hundred or a thousand max, but uh, they have 12,000 their budget, uh, almost 100,000 they can use for payroll budget. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and give them a billion dollars, 999 million, so we don't um, glitch the game or anything like that. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it, it, it don't, but this is what it is. So they got 15 years. We're not allowed to change anything else, but give them a billion dollars. They have to enter in Champions League, and they have to pass first qualifying round. Those are the four rules. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and go that... Uh, one year forward. Now we are one year forward with Lancaster City. This was our first year in the league, or first year that we're playing. Uh, friendlies don't look too good. Uh, league form doesn't look too good, but we did get to a couple of rounds in the FA Cup, the preliminary round, and first qualifying round. Uh, we did get through the FA Trophy preliminary round. We got passed through Northern Premier League Cup, FA Trophy qualifying round. We got knocked out in Northern Premier League. Cup third round, we also got knocked out. The form doesn't look too good, but we didn't get, um, we weren't last. I think that's what matters most. Uh, the biggest play, the attendance at home was uh, FA Cup preliminary round, which we had over 3,000 people, which is great. Let's see how we placed in the league. This year we placed 16th, which is great. You know, we're not all the way at the bottom, so we have some... Uh, ground to make up but it is what it is so this year we did sign a lot of players mostly on free and one on a loan from Lincoln and a couple of players were released so not too bad at all as far as landmark goes nothing too much but just before the end of this season we did get uh, the professional and then the last thing we're going to check second to last is overview nothing changed there Competition, nothing's changed here. So we're going to go to club details. Looks like our reputation went down a little bit, as well as our club attendance. Uh, minimum club attendance is still the same, and maximum is still the same. As far as facility goes, it all stay the same. Nothing has changed besides the stadium condition got better. Finances, we still have $768 million in the bank, $192 for transfer budget and payroll budget. Looks like it's $353 million. And the only difference here is we did turn professional. So I'm assuming a lot of money here is being spent on taxes and stuff like that because I don't see anything else but improvement on uh, the field for us. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to go those four years forward to 2021 and see how Lancaster City does. We'll be right back with that. Now we are five years forward, guys. Uh, this is where we left off last time, 16-17. We're going to go to 17-18 season. Friendly started, uh, we could say, terrible. Um, but league form looks better. FA Cup preliminary round. We passed through FA Cup first qualifying round. We got through as well. Second, we got knocked out by Hastings. FA Trophy preliminary round. We passed. And FA Trophy first qualifying round, we did get knocked out. Northern Premier League Cup, we got knocked out in the fourth round. So we got farther than last time. League form looks shady still, but 
Uh, we did get some wins and some ties in there, so it's not a loss. So it looks much better than last time. As far as how we placed this year, we did get promoted. Wow. Um, 21 wins, 12 draws, 9 losses, but we still got promoted. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's a shocker, but I'm happy with it. 75 points this time around. Then if we go to transfer history right now, guys, we we left off there. So this year we only spent 1.6 thousand uh, all over Tyler. And we released some players as well. Now we got to go to the next year, guys. 18-19, so this is our first time in our Premier League as we since we played this save. Friendlies again are looking better, but not where we want to. We won all wins there. And our start of our Northern Premier League form looks great. A couple of cups, FA Cup first qualifying round. We passed through second, third qualifying round, fourth qualifying round. We got knocked out our Northern Premier League Cup second round right away. FA Trophy first qualifying round, we did get through. And FA Trophy second qualifying round, we did get through until getting knocked out from a uh, third qualifying round. So we did good. We got farther, I believe. So league form looks great. Only a couple of losses here. And we did reach the promotion playoffs. So we weren't champions, but we did reach the promotion playoffs, which is great. Before looking at our standings and everything, we're just going to quickly look at our attendance. Looks like at home, FA Cup first round was almost 1,700 attendance. That is absolutely awesome. Northern Premier League for this year. We placed third but we still got promoted with 88 points so more points than last time absolutely amazing transfer history for this year guys wow we did get a lot of players we only spent 1.6 and released some players as well so not too bad so we did get promoted so that's awesome we get another technically we get a trophy but we don't we got promoted um, now we're in Rama North friendly started much better than last time league form is absolutely amazing FA Cup second qualifying, third qualifying, fourth qualifying round, and then we lost to Sheffield United at the uh, FA Cup first round. As far as FA Trophy goes, we did beat somebody at FA Trophy third qualifying round, and we did get through FA Trophy first and second round before we got knocked out in the third round. So not bad, not bad at all. As far as Venerama North goes for this year, we did get promoted. We were first and the first 100 points. That's what we like to see, guys. 105 points. First time after, what, four years or three years? As far as transfer history goes for this year, how do we do? 175,000. A lot of players signing, but it looks like we released a lot of players. The squad was just getting too big to keep all those players in. We got Aaron Simpson, 2019. Let's look at his career stat. We got him for 175, and then we released him on a free. I don't get it. Why are they doing that? And then we gotta go next year, guys. 2021, we're in the Rama National League now. Form looks great again. There's some losses, but it looks absolutely amazing. FA Cup four qualifying round, we got through to get into FA Cup first round, and we lost 2-0. FA Trophy first round, we were able to win. FA Trophy second round, we got knocked out and lost to them. Ebbs Fleet and the Rama National League. But as far as they go, league looks awesome. The form looks awesome. Let's see our attendance before we go on. Biggest against Swansea, 2,400 um, on a friendly. And then um, almost 1,900 in a, in a home game in the league. Let's see how we play some Verrama North. This uh, Verrama National League. i got to make sure I say it correctly. We got promoted 98 points, 2 points shy of where we usually are. Or where I want us to be always 100+. plus. But it is what it is. Let's look at the transfer history quickly, guys, for this year. 2021, we signed a lot of players on free transfers and we released even more again. So we're thinning the, the team because that was way too many players here. Way too many. So next year, we'll be in Skybet League 2. We were able to get promoted four times in a row, which is awesome. They're not spending a lot of money on the players, but we're able to get promoted almost every year besides the first year, which is awesome. And then we also enter... EFL Cup first round, so that's going to be great. As soon as their profile goes, you can see four times in a row we got promoted. We are now professional, as you saw. Regional reputation, we are still rich. Did anything change there? Season holder tickets is 189. Every season ticket now is 359, so that went up almost doubled. As far as facilities, we saw this still the same. 
Fleetwood owns us. Stadium condition is average, and we do have a sponsorship of 142k per season. Ends 2026. That's awesome. And I look at the most important stuff. Reputation is almost at 3,000, so it basically oh, they doubled, more than doubled. Club attendance it went up by over a thousand. Minimum went up. Maximum club attendance 5,500 now, but that's due to the new stadium. Facilities, I think they all stay the same because right now these are the Fleetwood facilities. And our finances, we still have 454 million guys, 105 million for transfer budget, 71 million for payroll budget, and we are professional. And then the last, let's go look at our overview. Look at our trophies there. That's what we like to look at all the time. Competitions, this is just the same as trophies, just written down, and then your different landmarks. Captains, promotions. Youth facilities and that was upgraded and stadium increased to 4,000 and all of a sudden we moved to Highbury Stadium which is Fleetwood that bought us so that's a little bit odd. So this is the end of the first episode guys. If you like it, hit a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. We're going around the world. Um, any comments, any suggestions, any other clubs you want me to do that you saw in these leagues, please comment below um, and anything else you want to say. And as always guys, have a great day.